Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated. I'm so excited today. I've got actress, writer, director, singer, Monty Hernandez with me. So welcome, Monty. Hi. Thank you for having me. <laughs> like, that's a long list. I, I really do all that. I know that's a <laughs> lot do. of hats. Do you do all that? <laughs> I do. And then hearing out loud, I'm like, man, I should that's, take that's a, a lot of hats. I was going to throw a few extra in there, like mechanic and just a couple yeah. and just see if you caught it. <laughs> Ex football fan. <laughs> <laughs> so off camera, we were talking about your love of the Dallas Cowboys. Mm, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Your family I, loves them. You you tolerate mm -hmm. them. I tolerate it. I will enjoy when they're happy when they win, but I do not support their terrible attitude when they lose, which is yeah. more often. <laughs> Fans can be difficult. Yes. <laughs> did you did you play a sport growing up? I did. I played soccer. Uh, okay. Wasn't very good at it. <laughs> when I was like six, I think six, seven, I was in soccer. Um, but I didn't really play. I was my cousin was on the same team as me, and she's like my sister. So the entire time, I would just be braiding her hair on the field or chasing butterflies, something like so girly, <laughs> you know um volleyball I did in middle school that one I was good at that was fun okay, mm -hmm. okay. are you are you tall I'm sorry how tall are you I'm, <laughs> I'm it makes sense that I played soccer I'm five exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah I was gonna say I, volleyball is yeah. kind of you know you you tend to think of taller yeah. individuals playing volleyball you could uh, I'm assuming you weren't spiking so you were set. no absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> so, 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 Monty, let's let's start here. Talk a little bit about what made you want to get into the entertainment business. You know, how do you go about doing that? So, I started when I was really little. I was like three, I think. That's pretty early. My, so, very early. I, I went to all these meetings at three years old, and I was like, "Yeah, this is the career I choose." And oh, imagine. <laughs> no, my mom. <laughs> Uh, my mom, um, she grew up in the arts. Like she was a ballerina all her life in Mexico. So she's very creative. So she was like, I kind of want to like my daughter to also be creative and have her in that environment and explore different things. So I was like, I was also in ballet, um, modeling. And then at four, I started doing commercials and voiceover. Wow. And my mom would tell me like, you're booking so much voiceover that they'd be like, can't you just do this real quick? And that she would have to tell my agents, like, hey, guys, slow down. She can't even read. Like, <laughs> she cannot read. You know, my mom would feed me the lines, like, and she'd treat it like a game. She'd be, like, I'd be playing or doing something, and, and she'd feed me the lines, and I'd memorize them. And I'd go into the booth with those lines memorized. And that's how we, we went about it, like a teamwork. Um, so I started there, and I just was doing commercials, more photo shoot, more print. And it wasn't until, like, I was, I want to say, eight to nine I actually started doing like auditions for you know film and, sh and shows and that's where it all started uh I just loved it so much it was always fun to me so I was like I want to do this like forever you know <laughs> I, think that's I think it's really great and good for your mother because that's it's actually a pretty smart way to get you you know, uh, a taste of the entertainment business without just dropping you into the entertainment business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and then when it got to a point, <laughs> when I was six, and it got to a point where it's like either it, this is like a career, you know, yeah. like you have it's it's a serious thing. You know, I remember my mom being like, you know, do you like doing this? Are you having fun? You don't have to keep because it was I was having like three shoots a day, like wow. the entire week. It was insane. And I was never tired. I just had a blast doing it. So I'm like, no, no, I want to keep doing it. I want to keep this. She's like, okay. And every time she would feel like, maybe is she getting overwhelmed? Like I'm concerned. She would ask me again, do you want to keep? So it was always like, are you sure? And I was always sure. And so I'm really good. That that's she pretty that. great. I, I mean, did you, did you also do things um, through school or were you doing most of your schooling while you were working? Um, both. I, I was, I would do um, some homeschool and then I'd go to actual schools, but then it kind of came to a point where I had to do like an online type of school yeah, or like a specific, like a special school that allowed me to have like a flexible schedule. Um, 
because it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I mean, I, I just I just know how I was at that mm-hmm. age. There's no way I could have done any. I didn't have the attention <laughs> span to do any of that. <laughs> yeah, it was because everything was just fun. everything. And I think also what made it a lot of fun, too, is that it never even to this day, it doesn't. I know it's work, but it never truly feels like work. Yeah. You know, so just, then like my mom, like, uh, would treat it, treat these things like a game. Like we'd be in the car and she'd be like, just like, what's that line? Or like, what, you know, what we were doing? Like, it was like, it was always so much fun. It was always a lot of fun. And she'd make me feel like special too. Like if I had like had a shoot at like six in the morning, I would like show up to the, to the shoot with these big old hair curl. I'm little, big old hair curlers with my hot cocoa Starbucks with my big old sunglasses and like in a little robe. So my mom would like just, oh, it was so much fun. It was yeah. great. And this day we're a team and like we do that stuff. So <laughs> it's great. Yeah, that's, that's good for your mom. That's, that's really terrific. That's really <laughs> terrific. Have you had any difficulties? You always hear about younger, you know, mm-hmm. child actors mm-hmm. trying to make that transition to older roles. You know, how has that been for you as you're growing up and you're, you're moving into maybe more mature roles? You know, what has that been like? I think it's really interesting. And I'm, I'm actually glad that I didn't book anything too solid when I was a kid like yeah. too like um with a lot of exposure you know it's something that would give me a lot right. of exposure because I even though I was like working these doing doing crazy things like at my age I still had a childhood and I'm so grateful for that like I didn't there was never this pressure like oh I can't do this I can't do that like no I was still drinking water out of a hose like in front of people like <laughs> I did <laughs> you know like it wasn't I don't know I feel like I wouldn't have been how do I explain it no it's just like I'm glad that nothing took off for me at a young age because I was still allowed to do everything I wanted and I know it can get tricky you know um so now that I'm like kind of like you know older and and doing this like this transition hasn't been difficult at all at all you know because um my first big you know, thing where it's like people actually recognize me was Jane the Virgin and I was 15. So I'm like, okay, this is a good place to start. This is a good place to start. I'm good. You know, (laughs) I got to be an awkward middle schooler and now I'm, you know, freshman in high school. This is a good, like, you know, that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a decent transition. It's a decent transition. It was never like, oh, I can't be a kid or, oh, I can't hang out with my cousins or spend summers at like my abuelo's house. Like, no, it was, it was smooth. And I'm so grateful that so far that's like, my career has been like this slowly but surely and I still have time to live my life. Terrific. Yeah, that's 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 so great. Yeah, my wife said make sure you mention Jane the Virgin because that was <laughs> she loved that show. Really? Yeah, oh, we always, yeah, we always play that game. I'll be like, this is who I'm talking to today. What have uh-huh. you seen them in and stuff? Uh-huh. And 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 she's like, Well, I, I don't know. And I was like, Well, here's a picture. And she's like Jane the Virgin. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great. I know, and you know, it's so funny because I didn't think people would recognize me. Um, and I remember one time my mom took me to go get my nails done, just have a girl's day. And I left the house in like pajamas, slippers. I looked like a mess. I looked a mess. And my mom's like, you're going to have to start, you know, getting ready and, t- you know, taking care of yourself and care about how you look when you go out from like here on out. And I'm like, ah, like no one's going to recognize me. Sure enough, I'm leaving the nail place with my mom. Were you on Jane the Virgin? I'm like, ah. Oh crap <laughs> dang <laughs> of course and I'm, my mom's always right you know and I'm just like moms know and she knows she knows yeah. <laughs> so is your is your preference now that you're you're doing you know acting roles is your mm-hmm. preference to do voiceover work mm-hmm. or actual I, mean, I say actual but you know where you're you're yeah. actually on camera I enjoy both because yeah. I can show up in pajamas for voice. <laughs> um, but no, I really love both. I just think they're they're really different, but they're kind of similar in a sense. Like you still have to use your imagination and and you know bring a character to life. And sometimes I think it's harder to do voiceover because you have to portray like a range of emotions just using your voice. Um hard job. Yeah, it, it's it's like it's the coolest. I like doing both. I don't think I have a favorite. I've had like a great experience on both, but I don't think I can choose. <laughs> That's good. That's it. We've had a lot of um, really good voiceover 
you know, uh, especially with the animation stuff, actors on the show. And, and they always say it's, it's not easy to get into because it's very almost clickish. You know, you yeah, have no, to be accepted into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you're in there. I am. And I love everyone. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody in that circle is so great. But it's, it's true because, you know, after I booked my, my Ben 10, you know, which was like, you're in the circle now. Cause everybody, I was the only kid on that show. Um, it's like, from that point forward, it was like, Oh, can you come in for a quick incidental? Oh, can you come in and do this? Oh, we're just going to get her for this. Like they just hire people they know already and know they can do the work and that's it. Like no audition. And it's like, cool <laughs> you're in cool yeah so, so were awesome. you were you Gwen is that who you played on yeah ben 10? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so so Ben Tim my son is mm -hmm. he, that helps me with the podcast he does he does all the hard stuff you know he's uh -huh. the editor and everything and I, I just show up and talk but <laughs> but he's uh he's 22 mm -hmm. so he was a Ben 10 fan back you know years ago you know before mm -hmm. they kind of brought it uh, brought yeah. it back and uh, that's what I was telling him. I was like, yeah, she's, she's doing Ben 10. He's like, is she Gwen? I was like, I think, I think she's, she's yeah. Gwen. <laughs> and, and you know what? I was, when I auditioned for it and like saw that I got the part, I'm like, I used to watch this. Like, yeah. obviously like I watched the Mexico version, like the Spanish dubbed, but, <laughs> but I was still like, oh my gosh, like I knew the show, you know? So it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Cause I also used to watch it. Um, with my cousins and do you do you have to you know do you record in Spanish as well or or do they do that separate if they show it in a different country they do it separate they do it separate yeah. Which yeah. I'm just like dang I can do both but I don't think yeah, they want I was thinking you could actually do both <laughs> you know I was kidding no but I could definitely do both but I know they have a different set of rules and yeah, different yeah. studios that take care of all of that did you, did I see that you had a role in the Lego Star Wars? I did. Yeah, what was the role? Uh, her name was Roxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mo yeah. Moxie. Yeah, we Mox watched that. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't, yeah. I didn't get a chance to see that one. And that was, and that one was a lot of fun. That one was Oh, they're so fun. good. They're, it was fun. It was fun. I'm going to go back. I want to go like on YouTube and find it because I didn't get a chance to watch it. <laughs> do you, do you normally watch your work? No. <laughs> yeah. No. See, no, I'm the opposite. Like, so if I do something, myself. I have to watch it. Uh -huh. No, I'm the opposite. Like right now, um, you know, the premiere for Student Body is going to be yeah. um, February 12th. And I already know I'm going to be covering my face the entire time. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So let's talk Student Body because okay. I've, I've watched the trailer and I'm a scaredy cat. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and I know. And I was already you know, kind of squinting and stuff, trying uh -huh. not to see. It's kind of scary looking. It's, it's spooky. It's spooky. It's a lot of fun though. It's, it's not like yeah. meant to scare you. I think there's a bigger conversation in the entire film. Um, and this is just kind of like a fun backdrop to it. Like that spooky vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like, like the, um, you're in a high school. So you've mm -hmm. got this group of, of kids, of teenagers and it, it the uh, the banter between the teenagers just watching the trailer, you could tell it's going to be a lot of fun. It's so much fun, and because the chemistry, like on on camera, like you see in the trailer, that was like the real chemistry yeah. in real life on set. Everybody was so. I felt like it was like a, a group of friends, like a real group of friends. You yeah, know, obviously awesome. some of the characters are mean. They weren't mean to me, but <laughs> but it definitely was like it just felt like a it was fun. Like, oh my gosh, like it felt like summer camp filming this movie. <laughs> hey, it looks, it looks just like a, a, a mm. blast with maybe a little bit of scary in there, but I'm yeah. a chicken. So it may not have had, it, it may have been just yeah. fine. It could just, yeah. been, I don't think so though. I think there was a little scary. It's a little, it's a little scary. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there are moments where I'm just like, yikes. <laughs> I was not, I was not. At least some I jump scares. It. I felt like there was some jump scares. In there. There's a few. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay, that's yes. all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, all right. I won't give anything away. I won't give anything. Away. It looks so good. It looks so good. So talk a little bit about about your role in the film. Mm -hmm. So I play Jane Shipley, and she's the lead, which is that's so weird to say. Yeah, that's awesome. It's awesome, I and mean, it's just so weird to say say that. Um, and you earned that though. 
I did. I did. Yeah. It's really like it's your first role. You've been you've been mm -hmm. building up to this. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad that this was like my first like leading role because the experience yeah. was just incredible. Like I could not like wish for a better first experience for <laughs> a leading lady role. Like I love horror is my favorite genre. So this it's okay. it's a dream come true. Um and Jane, what's her not Jane? No, Jane, Jane is that character. She's very shy very you know just wants to fit in she's like grieving the loss of her mom and uh she's kind of having a sucky high school experience which i mean <laughs> a sucky high school experience i had a sucky high school experience yeah. <laughs> so i could really really most of us did yeah it's like yeah. anybody who says they had a great time in high school i'm like you're lying yeah <laughs> <laughs> not true <laughs> not true and if it is that's definitely a flex <laughs> and if you did have one um so she's just kind of trying to find um her her group you know merit you know um her best friend in the film she kind of changed when they got to high school so she's trying to repair their friendship and it's just not working and she just has she's going through it in this film um but she kind of finds her voice in the midst of everything that's crazy that's happening in the film which i think is really cool yeah, that's, that's so great. So when did you film it? Were you were you filming during, you know, the whole mess that we had the last couple of years? No, actually, we filmed back in 2019. That's what I figured. Yeah. Back in 2019, when things were great, <laughs> um, pre-COVID, and we filmed in Georgia that whole summer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, so did they hold up the release a little while because of COVID? Yeah, I think so. But I, I also think that they kind of use that time to their advantage to just make it the best it can be, yeah, like the best of course, version of it. Of course. So I'm really I just wondered if it was difficult, the, the waiting, that would drive me crazy. Yeah, but it, it went by so fast. It did. It was kind of like, oh, I want to see it already. But I was I was kind of glad, you know, because I'm like, maybe yeah. like, you know, let's sit on it. You know, I know I trust what they're doing. Everybody who worked in the film was great. So I know that you know, they don't want to rush anything. And it was like, the timing will be right. And the timing's right now. <laughs> so. It actually looks like to me, it would be a good date movie. Yeah. Because it's fun. It's got yeah, a little bit of scary. Fun. Yeah. it yeah. would be pretty good. it would be pretty good. And it comes out like a couple weeks, right? Yeah. February, February 8th. February the 8th. Yes. That's like a week from Tuesday, I think that's exciting <laughs> it's been that's a pretty exciting that's soon this is crazy it's crazy so it um it's going to be on demand right yeah on um itunes amazon apple tv the pre-order's out now so you can like yeah yeah yeah. Those yeah 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 platforms. i think yeah. we're going to watch it so so we we're you know we we're in a studio and i i think the plan is to to premiere it here at the studio and just oh, invite, invite family over and yeah oh my gosh that's so Make it fun. A fun thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah we'll like take some pictures guys. we'll send you some pictures yeah please that'd be awesome yeah that'd be pretty cool so all right so now i gotta so i i my oldest my daughter you know she's got a couple it was a couple of hers uh, that i was watching this morning she's got a couple of kids mm -hmm. so when she was growing up she was big barney <laughs> big so now she's showing old barney shows to the, the little ones well mm -hmm. guess who showed up in a few <laughs> is it me <laughs> yeah it was you because i was yeah. thinking oh, okay i'm gonna show her that and she'll be uh -huh. like yeah jane the virgin that's what she'll know you yeah think. nope yeah nope barney yeah how did i not mention <laughs> like, that she was, was young dad it. she was young <laughs> yeah i was like seven i was seven how did i not bring that up in my early career that's like a huge you know part of that oh my gosh but yeah no it, that was that was also crazy i felt like such a pro there i had the i celebrated my i think ninth birthday on that set and they wow. threw me a surprise party and everybody was in costume oh my gosh it was so great it was so awesome yeah. yeah so you got to do a lot of singing on barney i'm guessing yeah a lot of my mom told me that by the end of you know me filming that she's like <laughs> I know every song backwards forwards i knew all of the lyrics in English and Spanish. It was crazy. 
because I had to be listening. find yourself still singing the songs. On absolutely. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. It was like last week that I was singing the Spanish version of one of the songs. Um, the, uh, uh, I don't, did I even do it in English? I don't think I did it in English, but the, um, uh, something about like raindrops. I know it in Spanish, but like the song in English was about raindrops. And I was like, just catching myself like humming to it. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. That I still remember that. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. When my when when my daughter was younger, mm-hmm. this is back this is back in the nineties. Mm-hmm. You know, we took her to see Barney live, mm-hmm. and like three different times. And at that time, I was working <laughs> with uh, Ticketmaster, so I had a little bit of oh, a, nice. a hookup where I could I could get good seats. So we went like three times, and we were right front of the stage every time. She loved it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely loved it. Well, then the fourth time we took her. For whatever reason, I couldn't get tickets for it. So we are all the way in the back. And all I remember is her disappointment. She was so upset that she couldn't go to the stage and see uh-huh. Barney. I was like the worst dad ever. No. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that's how my dad, but my, um, I remember my dad one time took me to Disney on ice. And yeah. I loved Toy Story. So I dressed up as like, I had like my jean jacket, Woody, my cowboy hat. And oh, everything. nice. Yeah. And then my dad's like, oh, look, there's Buzz Lightyear. Mm, I was like screaming. I was scared of Buzz Lightyear for some reason. The big like guy in the costume. And I was like, crying. that's hilarious. And my dad felt terrible because he's like, but then my dad was like, but I want you because you, you're just like, Woody, I want her to get a picture with, with, <laughs> with a Buzz Lightyear. So I still have that picture where I'm like, like leaning next to Buzz Lightyear yeah. like very reluctantly and I'm just like crying because <laughs> my dad thought that'd be cute I was I'm just like, trying to do something nice for you <laughs> and I'm just like I see that picture I just look so concerned and so frightened <laughs> oh, that's hilarious it, it's so difficult remember, being a dad sometimes I, I I I bet I believe it I give my dad a hard time and I I feel sometimes I'm like I think I'm being a little bit too tough on him yeah I feel like I'm you gotta go easy on old dad no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, there's some days. Where so, okay, it's, this will be this will be my last quick story. But okay, okay. I took I took my daughter. I was trying, you know, she was probably middle school, and I was okay. like, I'm gonna take her to a you know a, a little more grown up movie. We're gonna have us a good you know a little little date. And okay. so I took her to Mean Girls. You've seen? Have oh, you seen Mean funny. Girls? Right. It was so funny. I'm, I'm like, just, I'm crying, laughing, watch this. And I look over at her and she's actually just crying. She's just crying. I'm like, I was like, what's, what's the matter? And she's like, they're so mean. <laughs> oh, no. That's so cute though. It's called Mean Girls. <laughs> mean Girls, yeah. They were too mean. They are too That's mean. That's so funny. <laughs> no, my, I was also tell one quick story. Cause like dads are, I feel like all dads are kind of like the same sometimes. <laughs> I remember my dad, um, it was, what, what grade was it? I think it was like in first grade. Yeah. And I was so excited because my school was having daddy daughter donut day. Oh, nice. And, yeah, it was fun. And so, and I'm really close with my dad. Um, <laughs> my mom took me to go get a dress so I can get all dressed up. And yep. it was nice. I, <laughs> my dad's like a big goofball. <laughs> and uh, I remember I'm sitting down with my new dress. And my dad's sitting next to me and and he brings me hot cocoa and we're sitting there. And my dad, to this day, has this habit of like, he, he'll like poke my side and make like this sound. Like when I'm like not- That's a dad move. It's such a, and I don't know how he makes the sound. And it's, <laughs> and I was like, it always used to make me mad. You know, and to this day, I'm like, dad, stop. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to work, <laughs> you know? And, uh, and he, did, he thought it would be, I don't know what was going through his head. Like, I don't know. My dad was like, I was in first grade my dad was like in his like mm, mid late 20s so yeah. so he thought it'd be funny I guess to, to do that and I think the timing it was just like the right timing because as soon as he did that I picked up my hot cocoa for a drink Whoa. I spilled all the hot cocoa all <laughs> over my new dress and I remember <laughs> he's like oh and I gave him that mom look I just slowly like looked up at him and I was just so <laughs> windy. I was so mad oh, I was poor so dad mad. And he was, he thought it was the funniest thing ever. And I was like, <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, how is this funny? <laughs> oh, I bet he got it when he got home too. My mom, my mom. Oh, yeah. She just bought that dress. <laughs> <laughs> and we're coming home too. Be like, mom, dad's doing oh, the hot cocoa on me. Poor dad. It's so funny. 
for that. For so that. I got to ask you about the uh, the last kids on Earth. Yeah. You know, it's oh, it's such a good show. It's Love so that. that I did watch that. I did watch so good. Binge worthy. Totally binge worthy. Absolutely is. Yeah. Absolutely is. And you are so good on there. And what a cast. Oh yeah. And I had the funny thing is I had no idea that the cast was like all of those like Rosario Dawson, like all these great people. Yeah, Mark Hamill, like, Rosario Dawson. There were so many of them. Like I filmed, like we were recording, like I knew Nick was on it, and Nick and I became like super best yeah. friends. Like we we are still super best friends. And I, I became so close with the cast. And then it wasn't until a year later that we had finished uh recording that first season that deadline announces it. Rosario Dawson. Mark Hamill. I'm like, you mean to tell me I've been working with these people for a year and I had no idea? I was like, that's crazy. That is pretty crazy. It's pretty it great. So cool. Have yeah. you got to meet them since then? No, 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 yeah, no. that's not right. It's not, it's not. But, you know, I understand like they're super busy and like, you know, they have to quick record. Nobody, I mean, we couldn't get everybody in the studio to begin with because some people were in Canada. Um, so the people who were in LA, we got to record together, but yeah, that, I was like, wow. we'll make some phone calls. We're going to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a word with Mark Hamill. That's <laughs> right. Mark, come on. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, both of them seem like such, such nice people mm -hmm. oh, that yeah. if you brought that up, they probably would fix it. Yeah. Lord, probably be like, okay, you know. you'll be no. opening the door one day and they'll be standing there. <laughs> Like Tara Strong, who's on Ben 10 and like everything in the freaking I love world. Tara Strong. Amazing. I love her. You know, she always works with Mark Hamill. She's she would always tell me in the booth how, how great he is. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm hundred percent sure he's awesome. Like <laughs> that's a, it's it's crazy. We've been chasing after Tara for for the show, <laughs> and she's just so busy. It's difficult she's to pin her so down for anything. One of these days, I'm gonna get her on here. She yeah, goes, she's, she's terrific. Oh, so busy. She's awesome. She's so sweet too. Yeah. So sweet. My uh, my son's the big. He was a big uh, Teen Titans fan. So oh was, yep. Mm -hmm. He was doing you know the voices for uh, for that one. Yeah, I think she was yeah. Raven. I think she was Raven. Yeah, she's Raven. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. She's yeah, so pretty good. good. I've, so I've you've done that. you've done uh, video game work as well. Yeah. Yeah. What's the game? League of Legends. Yeah, League of Legends. Yeah, my yeah, brother yeah. plays that every day. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my stepson plays that all the time yeah. loves that I, what's I, uh what's your character on that one? kiana so she's uh that's the, the empress the empress yeah that's me yeah that's so that pretty awesome super, so awesome it was so much fun to record that and it's so crazy because um i i tried playing the game like before i even got the the, the part yeah. and it's so competitive and so intense i got kicked out every time <laughs> I was literally on the game for one minute and they were like, you know, you're bringing the team down, kicked off the game. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> it's an, it's crazy. I mean, I know they have competitions for it. So it's like oh, a, yeah. serious, it's a big deal. It's a serious game. Yeah. You didn't yeah. throw your weight around be like, I am the I'm, Empress. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brother's like, you should do like a, like a Twitch stream and, and try to play and see if people recognize your voice when you play. I'm like, that's a good oh, idea. You should totally do that. I'm totally going to do that. And You oh, need to do that. Yeah, that's that would be hilarious. That'd be so much fun. Especially and, if you're not great I'm, at it. I'm not. I'm terrible. I am terrible. I love video games. But I'm terrible at them. I am. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. you totally need to do that. I people am, love I that type of stuff. They love the uh, the connection. Yeah, I, last the last thing I did uh, with my fans for uh, League of Legends specifically, because that got a really big fan base, um, was I asked them to send me like some quotes that they think Kiana would say or like would want her to say, like super sassy, super mean, like funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I made like a whole compilation with animation of Kiana saying the lines they wrote for me on Twitter. Um, and it was so funny. It was so funny. And That's I think I'm going to do another one of those things. Yeah, you should. Mm -hmm. You should. Do you do you have? I'm sure you do. Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't. I only have a uh, Twitter and Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah. You need to get oh, you a, a, a well. Twitter's not not bad, and, and Instagram's yeah. terrific because of the mm -hmm. the photos. But you need a YouTube channel, and then you put all that on there. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. Need, of course, everybody's that. putting it on uh, Twitch now. I guess T Twitch. Yeah, that's the that's the one my brother says, and he's like, or he's yeah. even saying to start like a Discord server. 
for like oh, yeah. legends. I'm like, that's that's smart. I he needs to be like my uh, social media manager because yeah. he could totally I, do that. Is he older or younger? He's. I was about to say older only because he acts older than me. He <laughs> he's, my, he's younger than me. He's 18 and. He, I think we trade place. As soon as he turned 18, it's like the roles reversed. I'm little sister. He's older brother. There you go. Yeah. Just turn him loose. Let him handle it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's at that right age because he, he probably is. He's probably a whiz with that stuff. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Did I see you on an episode of Colony? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the one I knew. Uh -huh. That's the one I knew. I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure she was on uh -huh. Colony. That was a great show. Yeah. Too. I, I, you know what? I, I started the first episode and they never finished it. And I didn't even get to the part where I was on because <laughs> I was like, ah, there's so many stuff, like so much stuff going on that time, but I yeah. definitely want to check it out and then like skip over my episode and then watch no, it. No, you got to watch that. <laughs> See, my son's like that. He doesn't want, he used to do these with me now. And then he figured out he doesn't like to be on camera. He'd rather be uh -huh. behind camera, but he wouldn't watch himself. Uh -huh. like, how can you do that? I, he's like, well, I already, I, I was there. <laughs> like I know what I said. I know what I did. I was there. I'm gonna watch it again. I feel that. I feel that. It's it's tough. Like I, I have to force myself to watch my auditions. That I will watch myself because I have to make sure the editing is right, lighting and sound is right. That's good. Well, it probably else. also like with me. I, I always listen to the. Oh. I don't watch a lot of them, but I'll listen to the mm. interviews mm -hmm. because I'm trying to get a little better. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's trying to find things that I could do a little. It sometimes it's painful. You know, sometimes I'm listening, I'm like, yep. what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> There's something I'm like, why did I say that? Why did I say that? I, I remember one time, I, it, I'm so glad it wasn't recorded. It was just a meeting, but it was still a meeting. And it was yeah. to discuss, you know, some technical stuff and like just basic information on this, um, uh, like a reading thing I had to do on Zoom. And I remember I woke up late that day. So I'm like, I'm, I was like 10 minutes. I hate being late. I was like 10 minutes late to the, to the Zoom meeting. And I'm like, I am so sorry. And because I was already kind of flustered, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm, I'm, I just, I was getting ready. I, I woke up late and I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, yeah, I was rushing on my makeup. So I'm so sorry. No, no, you look great. Oh my God, thanks. I'm hungover. So, <laughs> and it wasn't until after the meeting, I was like, I did not say that to them. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Who says that? Who says that? I was just such a like in you know. I think a lot of people would say that. It's just being honest. I was being honest, but I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. They, they, they call your mother. Uh, yeah, they call my mom. <laughs> I don't know what she would say. She was also hungover. We were both. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> She's the homegirl for sure. She's like my yeah. team partner. We're like best friends. I love that. I love mm -hmm. that because it's difficult if you don't have the support of your family, yep. whether it's parents or a spouse, whatever it is, very difficult to do what you're doing. Yeah, no, I'm so grateful that like, I mean, we're from Texas. Like I was born in Texas. My brother, same. Like we've lived there all our lives. And the minute that, you know, the career was like taking off and it looked promising, you know, and I was like, this is what I want to do. Okay. House sold. Pack your bags. We're going, we're going to find a way. To go to out and out, like crazy journey. Like there would be times where we'd fly in for pilot season and it was like motels, Airbnbs, motels, Airbnbs. It was like crazy craziness. And and it would be like that. Like we'd drive back and forth whenever needed. And and we we found a way. Like it was a lot of sacrifice, but like I I keep them so close and I have so much respect for my family. And I'm so grateful because I don't know any other people who would drop their lives to come support me and, and believe in me that much to to do that. That's you know? terrific. That's just good parenting. Good, good parenting. Yeah, <laughs> good parenting for sure. I mean, poking my side and making me drop hot cocoa and stuff. That's <laughs> that's yeah, like, but you've never forgot it. I never forgot it. They're, oh, there's so many. If my family is interesting, <laughs> we are not a conventional family. I remember being in like middle school and and. Uh, I remember they were, I forgot what the conversation, I don't, what do kids even talk about? But I remember we were having a conversation about dads and they're like, yo, yeah, well, my dad, you know, he, he, you know, he's a doctor and stuff. And, and everyone's like, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And another girl was like, yeah, my dad, he, uh, he, what was it? Spray paints, like airbrushes my, my, my little pet shops to design, to make it any color I want. I like, go, oh, that's cool. And then I go, my dad can break his nose and then put it back in place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, a, 
And all the girls were like, ew. <laughs> I, I used to think that was the coolest thing ever. You know? And that actually is pretty cool. It is. I mean, it's like a, a, it's a gag. Like it's a prank, but like I used to always yeah. believe it. And I'd be like, that's so freaking cool. You can break your nose and put it back. And I thought that was something brag worthy. <laughs> I still think it's brag worthy. That is, that is brag worthy. <laughs> no, brag worthy. Like, Absolutely. Break a bone and put it back? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my, I'm so glad they're here with me. I can't do, I don't think I could do anything that I'm doing now without their support. It's already so lonely out here and it's tough. It's hard. So I'm glad that um, I have that. I have them behind me, next to me, I should say, every step of the way. Terrific. That's terrific. Yeah, you can't beat family. I, I'm so happy for you. That's uh, that's terrific. So I know we got to wrap up, but I wanted to at least throw out there uh, low riders. Oh low yeah, yeah. That, I my mom and I have like the biggest crush on the Miami Shir. So we just on that, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like, and that was a that was awesome. And Eva Longoria, like she was also great. It was cool. It just you know the the um environment of the film was very familiar just like in Jane the Virgin like the environment of like that family life um you know you have the, the mom and and the grandma like that relationship like that was very familiar so that wasn't very hard to shoot and neither was was lowriders because it's like I just feel like I'm at home you know I mean the kitchen table like the, the house like the the mood like the setting I'm just like this just feels like I'm recording at home I feel like <laughs> you know like the vibe and everything I, it was really cool to have what I felt was so familiar be represented on on screen. Yeah, yeah, that's terrific. And it was so good. I mean, <laughs> another terrific cast. Yeah, it was well written. It was just it was a great movie. Yeah, Loved it, was it. Good. yeah, it was really good. So, so Monty, thank you so much for for doing this uh, today and coming on the show. I was I was looking forward to this. It's not yeah, often that I get you know a former Barney actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, That's wait, like, I can't highlight. let you go yet. Yeah, I, I actually do have a, another question. For oh, you. for sure, for sure. So, yeah, so you have, you've done some writing and directing, and mm -hmm. you did and talk a little bit about that because you got together with some of your voice acting people and made yeah. something. So talk a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, so um, I was, I wrote like a, um, a mini like script, like proof of concept type script to make an animatic. And my cousin, who she's like an incredible artist, like insane. She was boarding it and we were gonna, you know, create this like little short so that we could pitch, you know, to networks. And we still haven't done yeah. it yet because it's been crazy and it's not done. But um, but yeah, like I I was like, I want, I can like already see who I want to be in it. And I I sent emails and I talked about it and I'm like, I'll pay you guys and everything. And I talked to the studio where I recorded uh um Last Kids on Earth. And everybody was like so sweet. And like, I know the, uh, like uh, Gigi, she was like um, front office of that, of that studio. She's like, she like knocked down the price. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. And then everybody, I, Max Middleman, uh, David Kay, um, who was it? Who else was it? Yuri Lowenthal and his wife, Tara Platt. I love them both. Uh, all these great people. And at the end of it, I'm like, please send me, you know, all your information. Like, I, I'm going to send you like, a don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like we love you, we we support wow. you. We I was like crying. I'm like, there's no, I you're mad. All a single one of you guys, every single one of you guys. I, I grew up watching you guys. Like, there's no way I'm not paying you guys. No, don't even. And I'm like, I'm so their voice acting community is so supportive, and so I'm so grateful for them. Um, so that was like my first, like that was my directorial debut, my private yeah. directorial debut, and the writing. Well, also writing, I guess. And um, right now I'm actually working. Um, with some of the producers for Student Body to bring to life a film I wrote that is also in the, it's a psychological thriller. So, nice. Yeah. Do you so, have a name yet? Yes, but I'm not going to say. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's super, fair. super, <laughs> super top secret. Um, but I sent it to the one of the producers for Student Body who I'm working with. And she was like, I read this. And I was like, oh my God, is that what goes through your head? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, because I'm always so bubbly and cheerful on set and with all these people. And she read it. She's like, this is this is heavy. This is dark, dark stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, now now when it gets picked up and you're 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 making it, are you gonna are you gonna star in it or are you gonna be behind the behind the camera? 
I am going, I've never done anything directing wise live action, like yeah. live action. So I, for the sake of the film, I want it to be like, I have this specific vision. If I can find a director who can see that as more and add their own touch, like I'm going to, for the sake of the film, like I'm going to step back, they can take care of the directing and I'll focus on what I'm good in, which is writing and acting. So yes, I will be. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. Okay. So when, when that gets out there, you have to come back. We got to talk. I'm going to come back and, yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be, because y'all, you're going to have a lot of questions. You'd be like, why, why? you would be asking why? <laughs> why? Yeah, why, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> Just why? Um, oh, but before I go to, I do want to say that um, the screening that we're having for Student Body is going to be in LA. There will be a like premiere Q and A at the um, American Cinematheque. Yeah, hosted by them. So um, it's February twelfth. Tickets are on sale now at the American Cinematheque website. That's so, oh, that's so exciting! Did did you get to go out and get like a, a red carpet, you know, outfit? That's what I'm going to be doing uh, next week, actually. I'm going to go to some showrooms, kind of see, have a fitting, see what's up. Uh, oh, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so yeah, excited. good for you. So that's February the 12th. Yes. And they can they can go out there and purchase tickets for that. Yep. And I will be there. Uh, some of the other cast is going to be there. Director, everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's terrific. That's terrific. Okay, so, so a couple things before you okay. go. I think we've got we've got most of it, but is there mm -hmm. anything else that you're working on that you've got upcoming, anything else we can keep an eye out for? Yes. I, there's a film that I was, I'm also in that's coming out. I want to say hopefully by the end of this year and it's a drama. It's very okay. artsy, very, it's good. It's about, um, it's called solidarity and it's about the, how right. life, yeah, that, oh, it's so good. It's so good. The short, actually, the proof of concept short is on YouTube and it won a lot of awards. And if y'all want to go check it out, it's a solidarity film on YouTube. It's, yeah. it's really good. And the film expands on it and adds a character. You might kind of figure and like guess what character I'm in based on the shorts. Okay. Um, it's really good. Really important. So, so is that one, is it going to be, um, you know, is it, coming to theaters or on demand or are they still going through the like film festival route uh, i'm not sh i'm actually not sure i'm yeah. not sure um they're very they're being very secretive about this one well of course is exciting. Is that exciting? is exciting yeah. yeah 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 i i read i did read a little bit about that and it sounds <laughs> really good that, yeah. i'm so definitely i'm really proud of i'm really proud of my performance and the group effort that we all did for that film like it it's it's gonna be really good that's really great good. yeah it's yeah. so good that's so good okay so the last thing before you go uh student body february yes. the 8th yes, on february demand. 8th on the man and february 12th if they want to come to the the big uh, red carpet event yes in in la in la at the american <laughs> cinematech theater in yeah. i think i'm I hope that's right. I don't want you to end up going to the wrong place, but y'all see yeah. it on the website. <laughs> It'll be there. That's right. That's right. I, I'm It'll so be on the website. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. Go I mean, <laughs> if you can't, if you can't see it at our studio, I guess red carpet would be the way to go. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's wait, close. Yeah, it's close. But, but if you, if you have to, <laughs> you know, if you can't make it to West Virginia, <laughs> fine. fine. You can go to LA. So, okay. So last thing, yeah. um, where can we find you on social media? Uh, my Instagram and Twitter is at I am underscore Monse, and that's M-O-N-T-S-E. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, you were easy to find. Okay, cool. I, yeah, I, I, try use, I try to use my my stage name, which is Monse, because I know right now I'm seeing my, my Zoom, it says Montserrat, and I'm like, I think, uh, I think I'll stick to Monse. Like, Either one, it's a very, both of those are very, I think, Hollywood names. Thank there, like, you. There, yeah, I really do. I think that's a good, it's very, uh, it's almost Monse old school. Hernandez. Yeah. Yeah. I used yeah, to want to change nice. it too. I used to want to change it. No, I, you don't want to change I that. No. I know. I was in middle school that's, and I'm like, I'm going to change my name. And yeah, yeah that's, a, yeah. that's a, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a terrific name. Yeah. Thank you, you. Yeah. Don't do that to your parents. That's a good No. Name. No, I love it. I love it now. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And definitely you have to come back. I will. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Okay. Hold on one second.
All right. So that was Monsi Hernandez. And she says her name so much prettier than my poor West Virginian accent. But what a what a lovely young uh, young lady and so talented. So talented. I hope you guys enjoyed that. She is awesome. Very good singer. Talented writer, director. She's her voiceover so good and she's for being so young, she has been in some really big shows. So if you're uh you know, if you're new to uh, to some of her work, do yourself a favor and, and start catching up because she's so talented. Um, Student Body, February the 8th. Make sure you guys check it out. We'll be posting uh, some pictures on the website, meistercon.com. You can also find all 335 or so episodes, audio and video will be available there as well. Anytime we do something in studio or we go to a convention, if we're um, doing a live event, all that will be on the website, MeisterCon.com. You guys can help us out as well on our YouTube channel, MeisterCon Pod. If you would subscribe, that would really be terrific. We would appreciate that so much. Hope you enjoyed that interview. I know I did. She was terrific. I love the connection she has with her family. That is uh, it just warms the heart. It just terrific uh, just just wonderful and i i you know i told too many uh of of my own stories you guys want to hear her not me but so difficult you know we, those family connections i remember those daddy donate donut date days at the you know at elementary school and at, at the preschool you know i went to a lot of those and and they mean so much as a as a father so i know i'm I know exactly where her dad uh, was coming from. It's terrific, terrific. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, bye, everybody.